Good morning students. Recently we are dealing with the chapter 9 that is simple machines. In the previous class we learned about levers and we came to know that a lever is a straight bar that moves on a fixed point. We also studied that there are three basic components for a lever that is fulcrum, effort and load. And based on the relative position of these three components they are again classified into three types that is first class lever, second class lever and third class lever. In the previous class, we learned about the first class liver. So today we will be going to learn about second class and third class liver. Let's see what a second class liver is. In a second class liver, one of the component of the liver that is the lord lies at the center. As you can see in the picture, the lord that is the component of the liver lies in between the fulcrum and effort. So a second class liver is the type of liver in which one of its component that is lord lies at the center. Let's see some examples for that. The examples for second class liver include bottle opener, wheelbarrow and lemon squeezer. Let's consider the example for wheelbarrow in order to identify the three components. The wheelbarrow as you know it is used to carry sand, rock etc in construction sites. So the area or the part that is used to carry them is considered as the area of lord. And the wheel part that is used to carry the wheelbarrow is considered as the area of fulcrum. And the area where we apply force in order to push or pull this instrument is considered as the area of effort. So the examples for second class liver include bottle opener, wheelbarrow and lemon skewer. Now let's see what a third class liver is. In a third class liver one of the component that is effort lies at the center. If you look into this picture you can observe that. The effort that is out of the three components, effort lies at the center keeping lord and fulcrum at both ends. So a third class liver is the type of liver in which the one of its component effort lies at the center keeping the lord and fulcrum at both ends. Now let's see some examples for this third class liver. The examples include tongs that we use for grilling purposes and fishing rod that we use to catch fish. Let me explain the example tongs for you. So if you look into this picture, you can see that the person is trying to grab a vegetable. The vegetable that he is grabbing is the load part and the force that he applies or the point at which the person applies pressure on this tong is considered as the area of effort and the bend part of the tong is considered as the fulcrum. You have already learned that fulcrum is the point at which the liver pivots or rotates. So a third class liver is the type of liver in which the effort lies at the center keeping the fulcrum and load at its two ends and the examples include tongs and fishing rod. Now let's discuss the type of livers once again. As you know liver is a straight bar that moves on a fixed point and it has three components the fulcrum, effort and load. Based on the relative positioning of these three components they are classified into first class, second class and third class liver. Let's compare them, okay? So in a first class liver, the fulcrum lies at the center and in the second class liver, the load lies at the center and in the third class liver, the effort lies at the center. So a first class liver is the type of liver in which the fulcrum lies at the center of load and effort and the examples for that are scissors and seesaw. A second class liver is the type of liver in which one of its component that is load lies at the center keeping the fulcrum and effort at both ends and the examples include nutcracker and wheelbarrow and the third type that is the third class liver it is the type of liver in which the effort lies at the center keeping the fulcrum and load at both ends and the examples include tongs and fishing row so that was all about different types of liver this marks an end to this chapter and now let's have a quick revision on this chapter. In this chapter that is simple machine, we learned what are machines. Machines are any device that can be used to make our work easier and we classified that into simple machines and complex machines. Later we studied that the simple machines are again classified into six types. Students, please take page number 121. There is a comparative study for the six types of simple machines. Let's take a look into them. The first type of simple machine that is inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat landing surface or a gradual slope. 
and it moves things from a lower surface to a higher surface and the examples include stairs, slide, ramp, slope etc. The second type of simple machine that is screw, it is an inclined plane that is wrapped around a shaft or cylinder and it hold things together or lift things and the examples for that include screw, lid of a jar, bolt, drill etc. The third type of simple machine that is wedge, a wedge is an object with at least one slanting surface forming a sharp edge. We learned that a wedge is an instrument in which two inclined planes are aligned together in order to form a sharp edge and it is used to cut and join objects and the examples include knife, ball pen, nail etc. The fourth type of simple machine that we learned was wheel and axle. In it, a wheel is fitted with a road that is axle through its center and the wheel and axle always move together for its functioning and it is used to move load. All kinds of wheels including tab knobs are examples for wheel and axle. The next type of simple machine that we learned was pulley. A pulley is a grooved wheel with a rope or cable around it and it is used to lift or move loads and the examples include crane, pulleys etc. And the last type of simple machine that we learned was liver. A liver is a stiff bar that moves about at a fixed point called fulcrum and it is used to lift or move loads and the examples include nutcracker, seesaw etc. That was all about the chapter simple machines. You have to go through the chapter after this class so that in the next class you can easily do the exercise questions. Thank you and have a nice day.